The business secretary, Kwasi Kwarteng, has said there is absolutely no question that the lights will go out this winter. Hmm. The fact we're even having this debate in 2021, if you think about it, is truly and utterly astonishing. But it's the result of, frankly, an idiotic series of policy failures. Wind energy was going to be the great salvation for all of us. And everybody agreed, everybody, oh, absolutely, Labour, the Liberal Democrats, uh, the Conservatives, the SNP, everybody said wind was the future. One or two of us have been sceptical about this for many, many years, and we've learned, of course, that if you over-rely on wind, well, there's a problem, because when the wind doesn't blow, you have to have significant backup from other sources. And even when it does blow, at times, it produces energy in a rush, uh, and you get more than you need in the short term and effectively have to shut off some of the wind turbines. But just to add to that, a uh, government which did, over a decade ago, have a plan for the regeneration of much of our nuclear industry has, in fact, let most of that slip by the wayside. Coal generation in this country, which was of obviously a huge part of our energy sources for decades, uh, that's gone completely. So we rely very much on gas, and not only is the price going through the roof, but our genius government, oh yes, they decided there was no need to have gas storage at all. No, far better to be dependent on Europe for gas and on Europe for 10% of our electricity. You would almost think that those that put together our energy policy and our commitment to net zero, you'd almost think they were all Remainers, wouldn't you? because they, they left us in a position where we had to be dependent upon Europe. Now, we're not the only country facing this. California in the USA has had a series of power blackouts over the course of the last few years. But Governor Newsom is acting on this now, and they've started to fire up, once again, diesel generators. Germany, well, they're not going to allow the lights to go out. And whatever their commitments may be at the G7 to combating global warming, no, 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 no. The Germans will make sure their factories still stay open. So think about this. Germany's coal-fired power stations this year, and for the last few years, they burn ten times the amount of coal that we burn in this country. In Sweden, they have just opened up two oil-fired power stations. Um, we, of course, go on burning a huge amount of trees that get shipped across the Atlantic from North America and are burnt in the Drax plant, uh, in Yorkshire, which supposedly is green energy and yet emits more CO2 than almost any other comparable source of its side. So we face a crisis. Other countries have been worried about this too. The prospect of the lights going out, well, it was bad enough in 1974, although I have to say doing homework by candlelight was quite fun and a very good excuse for not doing much of it. But if the lights were to go out today in a digitised and computerised world, it would be nothing short of a disaster. So as you can see from that little talk in, other countries around the world are taking action to make sure they can't find themselves in this position. What is the UK government doing? Nothing. <laughs>